Hello, and welcome to the Project Labs Administrator Advanced Accreditation course on the iModel Composition Server for PDF. In this lesson, you will learn how to preset the ICS rendition profiles for specific work areas or folders for use in the iModel Composition Server. A rendition profile will allow users to apply their plotting standards to selected files at plot time when using the iModel Composition Server and provide convenience to administrators when creating plotting standards. During this lesson, you will learn how to predefine your ICS rendition profiles for specific work areas or folders. A rendition profile is a template that contains the default rendition settings that we used when a user creates a rendition from the ProjectWise Explorer. These templates can be hard-coded to specific work area folders or traditional folders. For each rendition profile you create, you will define the source file presentation settings, the output file formats, the output file naming convention, and the output destination folders. In this exercise, you will predefine ICS rendition profiles for specific work areas or folders. Once you've logged into your ProjectWise Explorer client, navigate to Projects and select the P201975 work area folder. Highlight that work area folder. You can either right click and choose Properties, or you can hit the space bar when the work area folder is highlighted. Select Resources and change the resource type to Rendition Profile. This gives us the ability to add or remove rendition components from this particular work area project folder. For example, since we have the two rendition profiles available for this work area, we can decide on making, say, the black and white 11 by 17 as the default profile meaning when any user is in this particular work area project and right clicks to create rendition this is the default profile they receive and would have to change to the black and white d size sheet as a secondary option but for the purposes of our exercise we want to remove the black and white d size sheet rendition profile once you do so click ok to continue this will make the black and white 11 by 17 the default choice for every user within this particular work area project. If you have a situation where you need to add your rendition profile back to a work area folder, you simply just need to hit the add button and select the profile of choice. We'll click cancel and simply leave our rendition profile set to the black and white 11 by 17 rendition component. Click OK and then navigate to the P202134 work area folder. Hit your space bar and go to resources. Pull the resource type down and look at the rendition profiles. In this particular work area, we will leave both choices for the 11 by 17 and the black and white D size profile. But we will hard code one component versus the other. For example, if we expand this work area and go into 01 design and go to roads and look at our drainage and highway engineer folder and go to sheets. In this situation, we can either right click on this folder or hit the space bar. If we right click and choose properties, we're allowed to go to the rendition profiles tab on this traditional folder and decide which profile will be the default profile when users right click and choose this particular component. For example, for this exercise, we'll set it to the black and white D size sheet. We'll click OK. Now, to test this out, it's quite simple. 
if we right click on any particular file in question and go to create rendition the default profile that we receive is the black and white D size sheet but because we didn't remove the secondary choice you can easily change the profile to the black and white 11 by 17. Let's cancel. If we go back to our P20119575 work area folder, in this particular work area, we only have the one choice for a component. If we go to the 01 design, go to roads, drainage and highway and engineering folder, look at the sheets and right click and choose create rendition. We only have the one choice because we have removed the black and white D size sheet profile from this particular work area folder. This concludes the lesson on predefining ICS rendition profiles for specific work areas or folders. Let's review what's been learned. During this lesson, you've learned how to predefine ICS rendition profiles for specific work areas or folders. The next video will provide techniques on converting an AutoCAD STB or CTB in MicroStation to a MicroStation TBL when printing with the iModel Composition Server. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.